So you want to use custom images in Windows 365. Sounds pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of little details that you need to get just right or it's not going to work. Now your Windows 365 images can come from any one of four sources. The first is the Microsoft Gallery, which is where you get all the standard images from. The other three options are your custom image sources, and those are the Azure Compute Gallery, which you could combine with the Azure Image Builder, and more about that in a minute. You could also get them from Hyper-V and your Azure Managed Image. Now, each one of these has a slightly different way of getting to Windows 365. For example, the Azure Compute Gallery and Azure Image Builder can work together to automate the entire image creation process and then drop a new image version into the gallery, which will automatically save you time and money, and it's very easy to use. But the Azure Compute Gallery is not directly supported in Windows 365 yet. So if you use this process, you'll then need to export that new image version as a disk and then convert that to an Azure managed image using PowerShell. Then there is Hyper-V, and this is the most complex option. You would build a VM in Hyper-V and then configure it properly for Azure, do the sysprep to generalize the VM, and then you'd have to upload a fixed size VHD to the cloud then create an Azure managed image from that disk. And the last option is an Azure managed image. And if you've been keeping score here, every one of these other options needs to become an Azure managed image for Windows 365 to consume it. But some Azure managed images are more equal than others. To get your Azure managed image working in Windows 365, you need to start with the right operating system versions. Win365 only supports Windows 10 or Windows 11 Enterprise versions today. And if you're using Azure Virtual Desktop separately, then be aware that those multi-session images are not going to work here. Next, we have the Virtual Machine Generation. And this one's a little tricky. You see, in Windows 365 today, you're required to use Gen 2 VMs, which means you need Gen 2 images. But for those of you who started with Hyper-V with Gen 1 VMs, there's a link in the resource section under the video, and that has a doc in it that you need to read. And that'll walk you through all the step-by-step -step processes to convert your master boot record images to GUID partitions using WinPE. And then you can upload your Gen 2 VHD to Azure, set up your managed image, and Bob's your uncle. For all of you starting directly in Azure, you have a much simpler path. Create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 Enterprise Gen 2 VM, then add your customizations, sift prep, generalize, and capture as a Azure managed image. And the Azure Image Builder, by the way, would have taken all of those steps of the image creation process and automated all of them. And that way you can pump out new image versions every month or even if a zero day patch comes out and all with the press of a button. So now you're ready to import your image into Windows 365, right? Well, not quite yet. But if you want more easy to follow fast solutions for the cloud, become an Azure Academy learner by clicking that little red subscribe button. Your future self will thank you. For Azure and Win365 to communicate with each other, you first need your on-prem network. And this will provide a connection from your Azure subscription to Windows 365. And that way you can see your images and get them imported. Okay, okay, now that you have your network set up, you can import your images, right? Well, maybe. You see, there's an API that syncs between the Azure subscription and Windows 365. And once those two things sync up, which is usually in 15 minute intervals, now you can go into your device images and then you can click add give your image a name and a version number, something like 1.5.13. Then you can click the drop down and select your Azure managed image. Then click add at the bottom. And now Windows 365 will import the image from Azure and that'll take several minutes depending on the size of your image. Now, if your image does not show in that drop down, here's some troubleshooting tips. First, your image needs to be in the same subscription that that on-premise network connection is syncing with. Over in the Azure portal, if you look at your image, you'll see right there a VM generation, and it must say V2. 
You should then deploy a VM from that image and then log on to Windows and verify that your operating system is enterprise version and not multi-session. And if all of those things are right, then I suggest that you just wait a little bit longer for that backend sync to happen. So now you can deploy your cloud PCs, right? Well, now you need to go and create or update your provisioning policy that will now use your new image. And now you can finally have your cloud PCs. But there's one more gotcha that we should talk about, and that is your license. Now keep in mind that the VM license that you have may also limit what images you can deploy. Now the docs do tell us here that one core CPU options are going to be retired soon, so hopefully this won't be much of an issue going forward. But for me right now, my license of a single core VM means that I'm limited to Windows 10. I can't deploy a Windows 11 Cloud PC. So be sure that you have the appropriate licenses for the OS that you want to deploy. Now, are there some gotchas along the way? Yeah, sure. But if you just follow these 10 simple steps, you'll be golden. Start with a Gen 2 virtual machine, and you must be using an enterprise version of the operating system. Sysprep, generalize, and capture that VM as an Azure managed image. Have your Windows 365 network connected to the same subscription where that image is located wait for the sync, then add your image into Windows 365, wait for the import to be complete, assign that image to your provisioning policy, and be sure that you have the license that supports the OS that you're planning for. And the last thing is become an Azure Academy learner by clicking that subscribe button today. And the next thing that you should do is streamline that whole imaging process with the Azure Image Builder. And the details are right over here. You just need to click it. Happy learning.